Hey guys, it's Janet. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to share with you guys how I am um, doing my notes and studying this semester. So I thought I'm going to record on my phone since it's easier to turn things around and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully this gives you an idea of what I'm doing, um, the process of like lecture notes, uh, reading book, printing, studying, and all of that. So I hope this is helpful. So first thing is first, I always try to list out all that I have to do. Um, so here I have my planner, um, which I showed in my what's in my backpack video and then I have it written down on modules so I have pretty much four modules worth of content um, and I put the title of the section as well as um, each individual PowerPoint that was given and these come with an audio lecture attached to it and then once I am listening to the PowerPoint and I make my notes and I check off here. So, and then this lets me know that I finished obviously listening and reading and I have taken my notes. And then down here is just more assignments, things that I have to do. So that's pretty much, I need to have a list somewhere on paper that I can actually um, keep staring at throughout my studying so I know where my time is gonna go to next. All right, so let me show you a little bit of the PowerPoint uh, lecture stuff and then we'll keep moving with how I'm going to take it. So I just opened my canvas which is similar to Blackboard um, and so I go through the course and find my module. Let's go to the cell and then um, let's do that. And so this is my PowerPoint. So if I open it up on my laptop, it has some audio. So as I'm scrolling through, this this is how the slideshows look. And then, so each individual slide, I go ahead and take notes. So I'm going to show you my notes. So as a speaker, as the lecture uh, professor starts talking, I go ahead and write everything in purple. So remember that from my ADN, I write any notes that are verbally spoken by the professor in purple. So I may change my color coding depending on whether it's um, notes from her or if it's notes, uh, uh, side notes from myself. All right, so let me show you. I'm using GoodNotes, so this is where all my notes are. And let's just show you. So I have, oh, sorry. Okay, so I have my advanced path though, a notebook right here and I'm going to find my cells um, slideshow. <clears throat> and so I guess, let me just do a little quick um, flip through. So this is just a calendar just to kind of reference um, my degree plan right now. And then we start with notes on the cell. So I actually, let me go back. Um, this is pretty much what's gonna be on exam one regarding the cell. So this is, kind of just a quick flip through um, and then as I move forward I'm gonna have tabs so next time after we finish um, exam one I'm just going to um, tap is it here yeah and that'll open exam two material so that's how I'm organizing my um, notebook and then so this is a PDF on the cell that was part of the module so I go ahead and you know color coding system pink for vocab any um, yellow for just things that I want to highlight or definition or anything like that. I'm going to keep scrolling. I have the objectives here as well. And this is where the slideshow um, starts. And I go ahead and take my notes. I have really horrible handwriting, but the color coding and writing as they speak is really helpful for me. Um, so again, like I told y'all, uh, prokaryotes is a vocab word. Um, anything that comes in a bullet point is an example, signs, symptoms, uh, something in a list format that I need to be aware of so I can say, okay, uh, prokaryotes, where are they? There's four different points here. Single cell organism, uh, the cyanobacteria, the bacteria, and rickettsia. I don't really know. So that's pretty much green. <laughs> uh, yellow to kind of highlight anything. So if I see Rocky Mountain spotted fever, I'm, I'm thinking about this type of cell. And then anything else in red, I need to pay a little more attention to, or maybe I just need to kind of like drill it in my head. Um, so yeah, you see everything in purple is what she said. And I also made this little uh, flashcard deal 
um, insert this flashcard picture. So whenever I am ready to study and teach that back to myself, I may have to put a flashcard with this topic, um, whether it's, I don't know if I'm going to use um, the blank card method where you just put in, let's say, prokaryote, and then that's it or if I'm going to do prokaryote and then write everything out. Um, so I'm trying to get this to the point where I can obviously teach it without having to reference my notes. Um, and it's a lot, so I don't know. And again, probably all of this will be adjusted as we take exam one and see where we got, where, where we're at. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do a couple more flip throughs of it. New knowledge type of key terms that they used. Um, Highlight so for instance here the plasma membrane there's five different uh, functions of the plasma membrane so then sometimes I'm like okay do I know them all okay and then what I love about it is I can um, for instance I will zoom in ah sorry I will zoom in and I'm like okay do I know them all okay let's do something to remember so spat C spat C like it's just stupid stuff that I do um, and then I'll, I can, what I love about this is back in my ADN, I used to have to write everything out, go through a bunch of sticky notes and stuff like that. So with my Apple Pencil and my iPad, I'm able to um, erase it. I'm like, okay, do I really know it? So SPATC, what does SPATC stand for? So S, S is for structure. Okay, so I know that structure. Oh, well, can't spell structure. <laughs> and then... Um, and then I like to highlight things, so I'm, remember, okay, structure, and then protection, and I keep going. So that's what I love about taking my notes on my iPad so far. Um, and again, this is the first semester that I've done this, so. And then this, okay, this is an example of a really messy, but it works for me somehow. So again, when I'm reading it, I'm writing my notes in purple, and then I do my self-testing, or just like, okay, can I list it out? And then same situation, like the example I just showed, okay, effector proteins, three, three, okay, channel, cytoskeletal, and enzyme, so I'll write it on there. Um, so, yeah, and I think just when I write it down, I remember things too, so that's pretty much it. This is how I'm doing my notes. Um, then I found out that we're wasting a lot of ink, so I started doing... Um, them to per page and then what I love about GoodNotes I did buy for my iPhone which I think transferred to my iPad and then I bought the desktop Mac version um, so for instance if I need to learn more about it or outsource let's say Khan Academy or YouTube videos or anything else um, I'll listen to that and make my separate notes. So it's not gonna go directly on a slide. So for instance, fluids and electrolytes, this probably came from so many different um, resources that I was able to just log on on my computer, open this up, do some handwritten notes, and then type some of the other notes. And then what I love about the iPad notes is I can Google certain images to help break down some of the information. Uh, for some reason, ADH in me, just, I get that really confused. So um, I added that on there. So I'm hoping as I study, I keep, I'll, I keep looking at it. And then what I love is like m maps here. So sometimes I just need a visual and the color coding definitely helps. And then um, as I study, I'll go back to it and kind of talk it all through. So I love that I can type on it. Um, I love that I can handwrite on it, that I can import photos and images charts that help and then the other let me show you more of my other notes so this is just again same type of handwritten notes I was reading something whether it was the book videos or things like that um, this is where I take my notes and so that's pretty much it And then I always like to kind of summarize things. So <clears throat> like this right here, parts of the cell. I like to just kind of take all the little notes away and just list it so I can say, okay, there were how many, and then I can list them all out and kind of reference. And again, I wish I had hand, prettier handwriting. <laughs> I was like, I watch a ton of like note taking um, vloggers and Instagram, and I'm like, I wish my notes looked that pretty. But hey, whatever gets me through, right? So um, again, same here, where I'm like summarizing um, parts of the prokaryote cell. Whoops. And you you see me here. Uh, what do you call that? 
trying to draw things out. I love comparison charts as well. Like for the, for instance, this right here. So yeah, so that's pretty much um, what my notes are looking like. So for instance, let's go to something that I've already printed, which I mean, I printed everything. Okay, so for instance, let's just stay with this cell thing. So once my notes are done and I have listened to lectures, maybe once or twice, I actually listened to it the three times each on all of those lectures, all my handwritten notes are on those slides and now I'm ready to export it and print it because I still think I need something in my hand um, to focus on that versus focusing on using the pencil, using the iPad, getting distracted, getting notifications. So I ended up wanting to um, put everything in my binder and then that's what I'll be working off of. So let's show you, like for instance, this cell. I'll kind of do a flip through of my binder too and you can see how I organize that. This is my binder. Um, it has sticky notes of all the modules and then I have obviously my course uh, schedule and all of that in the front too. I did highlight and broke them down to exams. So each color refers to uh, different exams. So I cut this at like Office Depot. Really cute glittery dividers. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's a picture of it printed. Um, I probably should have done a little more notes on it, but that's what it looks like. So I just hope I should put it in this binder. And that's what I did for all of the other notes that you saw in my Good Notes app. All the slideshows, the PowerPoints, the extra notes from listening and viewing videos. And then I just put like a, I don't have any dividers yet. So I just got some sticky notes, each of the pinks, um, are the section of the module. So the cell, acid base, um, fluid and electrolytes, genes, and then self-defense mechanisms. And then I print everything double-sided just to save space. So, um, let's see. Yeah, so this was from like a video. Oh, citric acid is of course a silly, stupid, funny mo uh, molecule. So anything that helped me learn, y'all, um, some drawing, my poor mitochondria. Yes, um, funny saying, mnemonics, visuals, something to, so you can self-test. For instance, this is just a, a blank template of the citric acid cycle, and this is obviously one filled in. So I may cover this, put an index card on it, and then um, I may go ahead and test myself. Um, And then, so this right here is another color coding system that I've, um, so headings, highlights, broad topics, subtopics, reference, um, and that's in purple too because of the teacher, a uh, vocab and topic pink, which is what I was telling you about, red, something important, so something to really review, um, and then green are those examples and lists, um, that I was telling you all about. So, um. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Hope this helps. So at this point, I have talked to y'all. I go ahead and listen to my lecture with some white noise right on my iPad on the slide the verbal notes that come from the professor in purple. Then I go ahead and do my highlighting and extra notes on that. I go ahead and resource other resources um, to fill in some of the gaps. I make those notes. Um, once I have all my written notes, once I've listened to lectures a couple different times, then I'm ready to print them out. Printed them out, put them in the binder, go ahead and um, obviously organize them, tab them off so you know where to quickly go um, to find that reference. Um, and then I, at this point, I am probably ready to start uh, self-quizzing, teaching, and all of that. And how I am probably going to do that, like I mentioned, is the index card situation. <sighs> yeah. And then talking it out. I'm hoping my study buddy <laughs> wants to, it's okay hearing my voice because I am one that needs to speak it out. And then even when I'm not studying with a study partner, I'm probably in here, like, talking out loud. Um talking things through. And then sometimes I do it at Starbucks, even when I have my headphones in and people are like, what is she doing? 
But yeah, that's pretty much my process. I need to stay organized. The iPad pencil deal has been awesome. So I'm really hoping that helps me. It's the first time, so I'm a little nervous of just like changing things up. That's so far of my study note taking plan and again after exam one we'll see what helped what was more effective and then make some changes so uh, let me know in the comment section below how are you studying how are you taking notes have you used good notes or any other note-taking app um, for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share the videos bye